Because when it comes to the FDCPA and Regulation F, you want to be 100% accurate and 100% proficient in relation to those regulations. Because a single violation can be very costly to not just you, but in the third party billing and debt collection industry to the collector that actually causes that violation. I'm not really sure how it's gonna affect first parties, but in, with third parties, it does not just affect the company, but the individual collector. Hello everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day. So over the last several weeks, we talked a lot about regulations, how they affect the third party billing and debt collection industry, and how in some areas they may overlap into first parties. So any given business that has receivables and they're performing collection activity on those receivables. Now the last two weeks, we talked specifically about Regulation F, which pretty much says that first parties will be held accountable in some areas pertaining to the FDCPA. Now, I originally said that that goes into effect on September 30th, but it is November 30th. And it doesn't surprise me that it said September 30th because our company, we typically want to be way ahead of the game when new regulations are coming down the pike and when we're getting close to that effective date. Because when it comes to the FDCPA and Regulation F, you want to be 100% accurate and 100% proficient in relation to those regulations. Because a single violation can be very costly to not just you, but in the third party billing and debt collection industry to the collector that actually causes that violation. I'm not really sure how it's gonna affect first parties, but in, with third parties, it does not just affect the company, but the individual collector. But it mostly has to do with how you communicate with consumers and for first parties, it will require that you have some way to check in on your third party billing and debt collection partner to make sure they're being compliant with the FDCPA and the Regulation F updates and additions. So the question now is this an appropriate time to develop training programs for your company and your employees? And I believe the answer is yes. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to develop these programs, but I can tell you where to get the information. You wanna to go to the CFPB's website. You wanna look up the FDCPA. You wanna become 100% proficient. And then you wanna go out and you wanna look up Regulation F, Final Rule, and you wanna become 100% efficient in that as well. And from there, you can develop your training programs. Now, a lot of times we do like annual training for these type of things, but studies have shown that if you give information to people in bite-sized pieces, they tend to retain it better, they tend to understand it better, and they retain it for a longer period of time. But once you develop these training programs, you wanna test them on a regular basis. You may wanna test them at least weekly just so they can retain that information if they're not doing those duties on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I'm not normally somebody that plugs other businesses, but you also may want to consider getting involved with some associations that are relative to our industry. One that I could recommend is the ACA International. They have been around a long time. They spend a lot of time in Washington advocating for the accounts receivable management industry but they also have weekly Zoom type huddles so they can deliver information as it happens, changes as they happen. They also have a lot of different certifications. They have training available, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Look it up for yourself, do your research, and if you think it'd be beneficial to your business, then I would certainly recommend them. But if you'd like to talk a little more, I'd like to learn more about what you've learned up to now. And if I can help you get in a better place than where I found you, I certainly want to be available. As always, take care, be well, don't take any unnecessary risk, and I hope to talk with a lot of you soon. Hello, Sean Martin, Director of Business Engagement. So if you like this video, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. 
But don't forget to visit our website, check out the services we have to offer. Essentially, Partners Financial Services is a full service accounts receivable management firm. So we specialize in billing, loan servicing, and debt collections. Some of the industries that we serve are the education industry, everything uh, from a proprietary school all the way up to a college, university, higher educational level. Uh, also banking, financial institutions, credit unions, and then a handful of miscellaneous industries that we do some debt collections for. So yeah, give us a call, send us an email, let us know what you have in mind, and we can see if our services can line up with your objectives and help you get in a better place than you are today.